gotta pull it out. I gotta pull it out. And I gotta pull it out. <laughs> oh, what?
That's when Sir Topham Hatt said, Welcome to the steam, poor dads. Ho oh, ho, did I say steam? I meant stream. Good evening, humans. Zound, how are you? I am doing fantastic, thank you. Except for my echo. Throw some shrimp on the barbie. TJ, the man from down under, has entered chat. Etchy, welcome. Four dads, good day to you, sir. TJ, hello. Hope everyone's doing well. I hope you've had a great week. I hope uh, you're all looking forward to the weekend. You guys in uh, the States had a short week. That must be kind of nice. That's you bad. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. Big love. Much appreciated. Zounds receiving the one month subscription from a caring and generous Echibad. Thank you. You're too kind. You're too kind. All right, folks. Four dads, yeah, trying to find some color reference imagery from the internals of the Titanic. That, wow, that's gonna be hard. Um, Titanic Museum, <laughs> photos of the Titanic Museum. My day out at the antique fair got canned when the ATM ate my card. Sorry to hear that. Um, all right, so. Yeah, that, that is unfortunate, TJ. Are we working on the fancy cup of tea today? <laughs> How dare you insult my 135th scale LED mirage.
I was actually just playing around with the, um, with the, uh, save me some more money for Gunpla, I guess. Yes, that's right. TJ, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find the, uh, I'm trying to track down the, uh, one, one sixtieth, uh, sh I can't remember who makes it. One sixty scale, um, uh, uh, hi, Jack. Um, Oh, shit, what is it? It's the 160 scale um, Zaku conversion kit. <laughs> I'm just going to keep, I'm going to spam you with links to it. And see if I can make you purchase it. Etchy Pat went to the Gunpla store today and didn't buy any kits. Because she's got Daka skilt. She's like, I have Daka skilt. Um... <laughs> well done. Well done. Ooh, nope. That ain't gonna work, because the deck... Yeah, it's 100, has over 100 windows on it. All the guilt. Or no money. That cheap out with the self-control. She better have money, or she shouldn't be subbing people. <laughs> No money is more accurate. All right, well, then it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I can I can show you this. I wasn't really going to go into this too, too much. But it's okay. Oh, I think I put them over here. That, that. Is it that one? That one. Yeah. <clears throat> this is now a feed stream. Aren't those TOS? Does it matter if if it's one thirty fifth scale instead of one one? Um, so, a few nights ago we talked about this giant 135th scale, uh, mecha kit that I have, which is, um, it's actually a soft vinyl kit, a very rare soft vinyl kit from the 80s, of the 135th scale LED Mirage, um, heavy arm editions, it's got a, looks a little bit like the Napalm Inferno, I mean it's basically the Napalm Inferno. Um, but, uh, I thought it would be interesting to sort of see what it looked like kind of assembled a little bit, um, just so that, uh, you know, I mean, I, I could post some, some pictures in, um, in the, uh, share your work section of our discord, um, exclamation mark discord for more information on that. Uh, but the, um, anyway, like most things discord, it quickly degraded into, uh, just a, 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 a mess, a quagmire of, of insanity, which tends to happen in our, our Discord. I don't know if, is that just ours, or are they all like that? I, I don't know. Um, I blame, uh, I blame TJ. The, um, <clears throat> the, um, one of the things, though, I thought I'd sort of kill two birds with one stone, is I did want to see what it looked like with the flashing cut off, and, uh, and uh, um, at the same time, I got my hands on some of this stuff. Durham's Rock Hard Water Putty.
all-round champ. Uh, when I see that kind of a label, I, I have to say it in sort of a 1950s old-timey accent. Do you have Durham's? Um, hey, Tiger, why don't you go out and get us some Durham's? But um, Durham's is a, is, a, is a wood filler, basically. And um, it's used by cabinet makers, and it, it's, a, it's a putty, it's a powder. It looks a lot like, uh, it looks almost like um, some kind of uh, food, uh, like a flour protein type, type thing. And um, the, you just add water to it in like a two to one ratio, and it, it solidifies really, really rock hard. I mean, hence the name as Fordad pointed out earlier on Discord. But uh, what is suggested in a lot of the vinyl, soft vinyl uh, figure forms is, uh, like vinyl over time has a tendency to deform from heat changes and things. So it's suggested that they fill it, but at the same time, a 135th scale uh, model being completely solid is going to be, um, is it's going to be really heavy, especially this one. I think it would be too top heavy. So I thought, well, why not, and there are other suggestions for filling them that uh, I came across to avoid that problem. So I figured, well, why not just try this for the base to give the legs and the, the lower half, like I'll do up to the pelvis, I think, as well as the shield with this stuff. So they have some mass and, um, you know, get some, get some gravity in them. And uh, it's working really well so far. Um, the only point that I kind of knew about, but four dads reinforced that is that... Um, I'm mixing it at a lower ratio than uh, than what they what they suggest. Like I'm putting a little bit more water in it than uh, the instructions ask. And um, he said that that's fine, that'll work. Um, but uh, to basically leave it for a very long time to make sure all of the water thoroughly evaporates out of it, which is fine. I have no intention of sealing or painting any of these pieces for many weeks, if not a month or two. Um, cause this project is not, is not happening soon. Um, yes, 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 I know. Even though I have yet filled product and, uh, talked about it at length almost every day and, uh, have purchased all of the white opal from, uh, turbo dorks. <laughs> so, um, white wolf, sorry if you're there, there's none left. You can't have any, uh, anyway, so it's working well. I've got it in there and, um, a few of the pieces lot really heavy you know the leg pieces so I think it's going to work well just to weigh the whole thing down and I'll just quickly kind of show you how well this assembles it's super easy to work with the soft vinyl um, you just basically run an exacto knife around all of the, f the flashing bits that were stuck to it and um, that was stuck to it and then you it just it's perfect it falls away you fill it and you're good to go oh that's the other thing what I'm going to do is on the ends I'm not going to fill it all the way because the product is extremely difficult to sand so instead, at the very ends where I'll likely end up pinning things, I'm going to just fill that with Aves Epoxy Sculpt, which is uh, easier on the sanding discs, and I'll just, I'll just finish with, with that on it all. So I've left it, I, you know, I haven't left anything proud. I've left it all, um, all concave so I can do that. But, I mean, overall, like here I can quickly assemble this and move the camera around. So that one's there. These fit nicely in here. You know, it was really difficult to visualize this with just this great big box of loose white hollow parts. But um, when you put it together, what do you get? LED Mirage! And put that in there. That's not the right one. Well, I just don't want the, you know, more, more so, uh, Ford ads. I just don't want the extra work. Like why, why give yourself all that extra work? And we'll use this bottle of dull coat instead of something else that is controversial. We'll put that there. And so let me just refocus and then we can put this on too.
my stunningly clean desk. Stunning. So this is just to the top of the thigh. To the top of the thigh, it is 30 centimeters. At Chibat, that is uh, eleven and a half inches. So it's big. It's very big. But um, I think if I have both legs and the pelvis in, um, gonna need a new camera setup for that. I don't know how much of this I'm really gonna do on stream, Jack. Um, I don't know. This is a project way down the road, but I was just playing with, uh, I was playing with some of these new, this, this putty stuff that I got, um, filling the parts. Let me just put this back. Um, filling some of the pieces with, uh, uh a special putty that uh, a wood filler type product to make it um, to make them solid and then of course with a lot, a lot of the warp parts easy easily bent back into shape with the uh, the hot air gun um, and vinyl as I said in the last stream has a memory so you heat it you bend it put it run it under water and it stays in that shape that you, you put it in so anyway that's where this is that's where that's where this is at I will put it away now Cruising down Monica Boulevard with the top down. Tear Tear 23 has just joined chat. Hey, Tear Tear. Hello, Tear Tear. Did you see any of that, or did you really just arrive? Did you see the big, the big leg? It's not that hard to put back together. backwards well anyway you get the idea it's uh what did i say it's tall 30 centimeters kind of thing but you get the idea it's big all right but yeah the 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 dunford dunford durham Durham or Dunford? I can never remember. Durham. It's uh, it's neat stuff. It's very neat stuff. I can think of uh, lots of uses for it in uh, in the hobby, in hobby uh, hobby dumb. Quite the jam, quite the jamby.
And I, I was pointing it out at you, but uh, I hope you saw the uh, the tape god, um, all the the altar, the altar of the tape god there. The tape god relic le reliquary reliquary. When uh, when that sub happened. Okay. So last night, not last night, um, on Wednesday. Oh, you didn't. I pointed at it. My face was kind of in front of it, though, because the sub thing is uh, behind my face. But it's here. I can show you this way. I can show you this way. I can take you on a tour here with this this camera. It's right there. See it? Three, two, one. So cool. So cool. Yeah. Keeping Gary company. That's my C not Bush impression. Keeping Gary company. Um Alright. His little stack fell off. Armored nut. Yeah, so... <laughs> so many distractions. Um, on our last stream, we did this piece here. I'm going to take the legs off. Uh, or do I want to do that? Uh, well, anyway, we did this. We did these stripes. That's all we did, because it was more of a show-and-tell. Um, but... Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to continue with this light green, these light green details. Maybe get some decals on uh, as well on some of these pieces. Um, in particular, I want to do this one, which goes right up here. I think I've messed the hole up that's here, though, because I can't. There it is. Okay, we're okay. So this goes up here. Like that. And so again, I want to continue this motif of these these diagon or these diagonal sort of stripes on this side. We'll do one over here. There'll be a decal of some kind there. These are the decals for the schnob. Oh. That's okay. And um, we also have this piece, which is where the thrusters sort of end up. I think it goes this way. Yeah. Back here. And we also have one of these side pieces to do. Because I'm, I'm redoing the side pieces. I, I oversprayed the light green that I've been, or the green that I've been using. And it um, it kind of, uh, it kind of uh, turned out to be a different, it ended up being a different color because I put way more pigment on that, than I have for any of the other pieces. So I need to redo that. This one, this is what I'm talking about. This is the same paint, believe it or not, but I'm painting it really lightly for these pieces, um, so that I don't, I don't, uh, so I can chip it more easily. But uh, anyway, so we'll fix that up, but not tonight, because I have to strip it. But I do want to get this sort of same three, these three stripes on. Although it's on the other side, so I don't know if I'll, I'll put that because I, I've only been putting those stripes on the one side. And I may instead just do decals all on the other side. I don't know if that's weird or not, but that's what I got in my head. Um, and then this is the uh, the front sort of bumper kneecap armor guard things that are on it.
and it's a really really simple paint up i mean it's it's just the green over the chipping layer with copper and uh copper and um what is it gunmetal i can't remember the name of the tamiya paint metallic gray metallic gray yeah so anyway that's tonight's agenda We also have all the fuel tanks to do that were uh, kit-bashed, scratch-built. They weren't kit-bashed, they were scratch-built. Um, nice check pattern, was it freehand? No, I did that with masking. I just cut little tiny, little tiny squares of tape. Yeah. That's the plan, anyway. Um, hope I didn't miss anything. If anyone asked me anything that I did not respond to. Um, oh, what's this, TJ? I did buy new Warhammer droid before it happened. Now I may, just may, be making some casts of cool bits. No proof. But need that pressure pot. Don't forget the vacuum. Um, all right. Going to test your camera skills to show off that build? Yeah, it's true. All right. Let's go. Anyway, if anyone has links to anything that they're working on and uh, f feel like sharing, by all means, post, post them up in chat or put them on our Discord. Um, that's uh, absolutely fine. up and running on my phone here so I can see chat a little more easily. Um, welcome, Drift. How are you? I hope you're well. I hope you've been having a great, uh, great week. about right don't know how that'll, that'll do all right where'd all my tape go
get that there. Four dads, feel like there's only so much I can do without doing that damn VR experience thing that makes me sick. Actually, I think I'll use a little piece. Yeah, my, my son does a lot of VR. All right, well, I've shown you guys his ridiculous beat sabering. But, um, you know, I will say this for Dad. Some some of the games aren't that bad. It, it depends. It's very game and uh, it's very game dependent, I find. Whether it um, creates motion sickness or not. Um, there are some that he has that I just, I can't, I just can't do. I just cannot do. Um sword or something something in sorcery I don't think it's sword and sorcery but um, there's one that uh, oh who the way that the movement works it just instantly gives you a it gives you a headache gives me a headache in a few seconds and would probably if I stuck with it would I would just be be nauseous and and uh, throw up Oh, maybe I misunderstood what you were saying. I thought you meant you need to get the VR experience. Is the VR experience like an actual, uh, an actual, f uh, like uh, upgrade or some additional thing for the for VR? You need to be more clear. Phantasmophobia, especially. He doesn't have that one. He has a Rift S, though. Oh, I've, I've seen that. I've seen that uh, Titanic um, like simulation reconstruction. Not in VR, though. I, I, wa I, I just played it on the, um, in, you know, on the screen. It's so one where you start on the dock, right? And you um, check out games like Moss. Let me make a note of that. I love indie games. Currently, I'm working my way through um, through uh, Mass Effect, the first Mass Effect, being daft and stupid. Super Hot is good. I like Super Hot a lot too. Too short though. Finished it really quickly. Yeah, Beat Saber. You probably weren't here for those videos, Jack, but I, my, it's my son's VR set he saved up for it. My son is, uh, my son is 13. And, um, a very mature 13. And he, uh, it's it's like the it's practically the only thing he he like ninety percent of his VR is uh is just playing Beat Saber, and it's it's, I mean he's not like the the greatest Beat Saber player ever, but he's certainly like advanced.
So I think that looks pretty good. Let's get a few of these taped up so that we can just spray them all at once. Just don't know if I should do that one. I don't think I will. So that means that and that. Yeah. Yeah, let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it, Jack. Because, you know, it's one of those weird uh, uh, proud father things, you know? <laughs> Give me a minute here. Go way back. Is that one? Yeah, this is one that's pretty good. He might fail, but it's um just sort of a snippet. Yeah, that's not one of the better ones, but anyway. Hey, Forfeits, how are you? Good to see you. Corvus' son is jaw-droppingly good at Beat Saber. Let me try to find the better one. I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just showing off my son's uh, highly, highly um, uh, bankable talent. Is it this one? There are better ones. No, it's the same one. How are you doing, forfeits? You working on anything tonight? No, I apologize. I might not have it. Some other time. Some other time. Yeah, he is good. Yeah, that's. I'll I'll get a proper one for you guys. I'll I'll try to I'll force him to. Uh, to uh, pander to my 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 stream chat um, tomorrow, and uh, I'll show you I'll show you tomorrow night. And yes, he was annoyed by that uh, that update when everything breaks, but he's used to it because that happens that happens every time they update the uh, the thing. All the mods have to catch up, and um, he's just got so many mods going on; it's ridiculous. Um, so then this piece. Not building, playing Stardew Valley. Nice, 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 nice. Continue the X here. We're working on the um, the Schnabel gun, uh, which is a custom uh, resin kit from uh, Luca Zampriolo forfeits. It is, um, you can see it in the corner there, a little tiny picture of it, this guy here. Basically looks like that. Um, ours has been built up to this point. So, quite a bit done. We're just making our way up the body. I'm 
trying to figure out if I should put anything on the back. If I should put any of this type of stuff on here. Thanks, Echiban. It's really getting it's get it's getting there. I think once I have all of this stuff done and we can get the shoulders in, it's gonna uh, and arms, it's gonna really come it's gonna come quick. This one being uh, done, and then I guess we have to have another pole. Um, yeah, kind of feel like there should be something here, but I don't know. Maybe just one there. Or will that look weird? I mean, maybe it doesn't need anything. Let's just leave it. So we'll unattach that. So we got that one, that one, and then we did that. Did the tanks. We've got a lot to do on the tanks. We got five more of these to have to put that on. And doing that end bit's tough. But and then we have the one repaint of this that we need to do. Yeah, okay. That's a lot less than I thought I'd need to paint. Well, let's do some of the tanks. I know I say it a lot, but I really can't wait till you start painting the hag house. I gotta, I'll do the Vince thing. I'll do the Vince aww, as soon as I see it primed. Nothing to show of lately rebuilding my hobby room. Well, Jack, they look really good. They look really good, your your hobby room. And, uh, yeah, got to get that done. Fordads has been sort of renovating a little bit, too, in his. Uh, mine doesn't need renovation. Mine is uh, absolutely perfect in every respect. Lol, how do you feel? How do your kids feel about having a streamer dad? I don't know. I don't know. They don't seem to mind. They don't seem to mind. I don't think they know who I am on Twitch. You know, we've never really. They don't ask, and I don't tell. Well, that's not true. They do know who I am because they know my Instagram account. Um, but I don't. I don't think. Uh, I don't think they watch. That's that's where the love is, right? They could be right now watching their their dear old dad creating all these these formative in these formative years, watching me stream, create, craft, putting all these talents and skills to use. Instead, probably watching TikTok. Probably watching TikTok. All right, so what did I do on this? I used one piece around there. That's okay. I'm saving the. I'm say. I'll save the. I'm saving the vods onto YouTube, right? So, on my deathbed, right? I'll say you can watch the vods. Yesterday I got my goth hobby zone stuff. Today I will get my spray cabin and the 16th I get wood for the desk. Nice. And I think the expression spray cabin is the best thing I've heard today and I'm going to use that. That thing over there is now my spray cabin because we always call them spray booths. I'm 
not sitting here. <laughs> TJ sitting there watching their college fund get glued and painted. <laughs> uh, here, we can find out, because they'll jump into chat immediately after I say what I'm about to say. This is a test of whether or not they are watching. TJ, neither of them are smart enough. Really, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Anyone new? Anyone new? <laughs> Nothing. See? <laughs> I am joking, of course. <laughs> They're both bright kids. My daughter's 16. Um, Lisa's not anime? Oh, yeah. There's a lot of that too, four dads. There's a lot of that too. God only knows. God only knows what... Uh, and when I say God only knows, of course, you guys realize I mean the tape God. Um, only knows what uh, what he has watched. My daughter doesn't watch any anime, but... Uh, my son, I, I firmly believe my son has watched all the anime. Jack, thank you for the redeem. Thank you for the redeem. Little tiny schnab, little tiny schnab tape ball. But it's growing. It's growing, right? It's not not it's not going to be as big as as the uh, the Gundam Double Zeta, or as colorful. But uh, it's getting there. It's it's growing. Too fun. Too fun. I need to make some of those, some more of those commands, like the, the exclamation, what is it, more tape? Tape God, sorry. I need to, uh, I need to sub, I need to sub on Griff's and just st steal some of his for that. Because they're excellent emotes for 
for that kind of thing, aren't they? All those, uh, all those head... And back to relaxing. And I, I'm working on the, I'm working on the Corvus Ross one, too. I'm working on the Bob Ross thing. I've got my team. I've got my team on it. Graham has great emotes. And I, I keep meaning to, um, I had a gift sub there, because what you'll find is with Grim, you'll often get gift subs, um, because he just gets a lot of subs, um, random, random subs. But the, um, his, his, his emotes are spectacular, and, uh, I haven't, um, I keep meaning to, uh, to sub to his channel outright, but, uh, you know, properly, but, um, I just haven't, uh, I haven't caught him on lately. Just our timing hasn't been the best. I'm doing this off screen. Hey, Vince, how are you? Good to see you, my friend. Thank you for the redeem. Working on the big, um, big resin kit, schnabel gun. That, we've got a bunch of pieces here that are getting painted up, weathered, detailed. Just woke up. Nice. Just woke up. Are you where you remember going to bed? So, I mean, it's getting there. We got a lot more pieces to do, but ultimately we're going for some a look like this. This is just some reference art of uh, of what uh, what we're doing. Getting a, a look close to that. Close to it. Legs keep wanting to fall off. So we're going to take them off. That's the main, the main kind of body. Don't mind the glossiness. That'll, that'll be gone in the finished product. Anyway, we have these fuel tanks. Got these fuel tanks. That um, these were actually uh, Vins. These were were scratch built to replace the the shitty fuel tanks that it came with. So these were done with styrene, styrene plastic, and uh, some solder and some Aves epoxy sculpt. you hate that? See, that's what happens when you when you only go like 3.14, right? That's what happens when you only go 3.14 and you forget the 14159. Uh, I can show you what the pieces look like. So Vince, 100% resin. So if you've done a resin, if you, I don't know if you've done a like a, a resin a resin conversion kit for gunpla, but imagine that, but without the gunpla, right? It's just all all the pieces are resin. Um, so this is an arm. So this goes here. built-in weathered area I suppose I it's just the paint the paint will over overlap there <laughs> drifts the only one that got my 3.14 joke um, <laughs> uh, I thought it was hilarious um, drift also is the one who calls me a nerd the most
So like minis, but bigger. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, and there, there are a few kits that, that, um, that are, that are gun, uh, gunpla that are done this way. I have a, I don't know if I can really show you. Where did I put that? I have, um, oh, is it that? Yeah, okay, give me a sec and I'll show you this. Um, you understand now why I had a big ball of tape? Yeah. I'll show you one that you'll, you'll, you might recognize some of the pieces. No one tell him what it is and, uh, we'll see if he can guess what it is. Hang on. You're on your phone. <laughs> All right, do you recognize these parts? Bear with me here. And there's four of them. Yeah, there you go. First try. So this is uh, the Mursa Kshatriya um, full, uh, full resin sculpt. Um, you can see the detail, right? Lucky guess. Hey, no worries, Vince. You, hey, you, you guessed. You guessed right. Most people know the Kshatriya because it's like, when are we gonna get a, when are we gonna get a master grade, you know? <laughs> Etchy bat. Here's his head. Little tiny head. Resin pins, which I hate. I always replace those. And these are like, this one comes with ball joints because it's posable, which is a little terrifying. Deckles. Okay. Anyway, so that's, that's what they look like beforehand is a solid, solid chunk of resin that you need to paint everything. So with this, we're using a technique to, that's just called uh, hairspray chipping, where you um, you spray some hairspray on on the the part that you're going to paint over, and that acts as like a, a breakaway uh, l layer of, of um, like uh, like almost like a resist for the paint, and it stops it from adhering to the layer underneath. So you put down hairspray, and then you spray your paint on top of that. And then you peel away all the masking tape and uh, you can use some water to just delicately scratch away paint chips um, down into the layer below. 
and it's a really uh, it's a really common uh, and old weathering technique that uh, scale modelers have used for for a long time and so that's how I'm getting all of the the chip the chipped effect on this Got all those. So now we just need a little bit of a bigger piece here. Let's get the bottom part of this, so we just need to marry these up, get it roughly in the right spot. Drift, if you're there, what did you uh, what did you think of uh, of Luca's latest video? What do you think of the LED? No, sorry, the KOG. Hey, no worries, Vin. Thanks for uh, thanks for dropping in. Great to see you. And go get that uh, go get that fuel. And hey, listen, um, I might as well do this since we got some people in here who uh, are definitely worth following. Um, Vin's hobby, really fun uh, gunpla gunpla builder streamer I think he's more of a mixed streamer actually does some some gaming as well if I recall correctly but uh, do go give him a follow if you uh, if you haven't already uh, etchy bat another amazing artist and uh, and uh, um, streamer uh, resin artist builder streamer painter does lots of stuff four dads scale model And I think I, oh, and forfeits. Another uh, mixed streamer does uh, lots of gaming as well as uh, builds. And uh, and Zound, right? Zound streams as well. You're most welcome. You're most welcome, Echi you as well. Mocktails. Mocktails with Echibat every Tuesday and Thursday. I think I missed what Drift said. Um, his work is always great. That kit itself is one that I like, but not sure if I love. Yeah. I'm really on the fence about the... the uh, following all of them. Cool. Thanks. Thanks, Fins. Thanks, man. Um... I don't know if I want to invest in it only because of the, um, only because of the, uh, I, I have the other, I have the, the resin of the other KOG. And I'm like, do I want to invest in another one of those or do I get something different? Right? I'm just pissed about my Dacus. I need to let the, I need to let the, the despair die down of that experience.
yeah. So I mean, I talked about it briefly on on Discord, but I think I think basically I bought somebody who was I bought from from somebody on a on a Yahoo auction who was going to just drop ship. See that little spot there on my thumb? That is a blackberry thorn that I cannot get out. And every time I press on it, it sends an electrical stimulus to my brain that says, "Fuck you, thumb." Um, scalpel. <laughs> you know what? Uh, it's actually not a bad idea, but there's probably something about self-mutilation and TOS. Um, I think I, I bought something that, like, I bought a, a pre-order, you know, from, from someone who was going to, uh, just wait for the, wait for the order that you guys bought from, and then, um, and then, uh, oh, what's that, TJ? Oh, I can I can tell you in a sec. I can tell tell you in a sec. Um, give me a sec. Hey, Brad, how are you? Um, and then they were just going to drop ship it to me. And I don't know. Maybe they got a better price from someone else. Uh, maybe they didn't. Maybe they didn't get one. Maybe they they slept in. I don't know. Right? It could be anything. But um, and they're clearly a dick because they were basically just going to go dark and keep my money. And so I had to, I had to go through, uh, I had to go through the credit card and try to explain, <laughs> try to explain to them what, what a garage kit was, which was, like, yeah, here, here I am. Uh, it's a good thing it was an easy day at work. How are you, Brad? <laughs> okay, so TJ, 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 TJ. Hang on a sec. I'll show you. I'm gonna show you a website that um actually maybe you would know Echibat, but does the does the smooth on website all of their calculators do they are they locked into their actual different types of resin or do they have a general sort of volumetric section i can look what's new brad how's it going How's your week been? You don't use theirs? Do you have a better site for some of that stuff? So that needs a poor mold estimator. No, I think these are all tied into the actual product. Oh no, here we go. Here we go. So if you go to this website, TJ, paste. Um I can show you here. Um and you scroll scroll past all these. These won't help you because if you look at these calculators, you have to pick one of their products for it to really work properly. But if you scroll down here, they have some some volume and surface area uh, type. Um, um, there's a mix. There's a ratio calculator. But this one, I believe, you can get a volume right from just putting in the values, and it'll tell you what it is. So. Math, TJ. It's volumetric math. Be nice, four dads. Not everybody deals with resin <laughs> day in and day out. Um, so you were looking for uh, uh, to fill a box. How many milliliters? Yeah, so that's perfect. So you would just switch this to milliliters, right? And you'd put in your numbers. So if it was three inches by three inches by one inch calculate and you need that amount now what you'll probably want to do is if you're using silicone you want to make a guesstimate about how many millimeters your actual uh, part is that you're going to make a cast of and you need to subtract it from that amount 
Yeah, this one gives a whole bunch. Yeah, so there, there you go. So Brad finished next model. Now I'm working on my fifth this year. What was the most? That was the most I did so far. Nice. What'd you end up finishing? Just a box. I would just calculate. Yeah, well, that's the other thing. With a box, you can just multiply the height width. It gets, what's handy, why, why that, so Jack, why that little calculator I showed is handy is because of these, right, which can be kind of useful cylinder. You don't have to remember that whole pi r squared thing. And cones, which are handy too. Because I do sometimes, I do sometimes use a, a cone. Oh, wow. Let's look at this. Oof. So nice. Such good work, Brad. So how big, how long is this? You know, tire tip to tire tip. One twelfth scale, so what would that about fifteen centimeters? Okay. And is this freehand? Like do you is this paint? Is a is that painted in or is it a, a decal? Decal for my American friends. Nice. It's so clean. So clean. <laughs> yeah, I cannot write Japanese. It's beautiful. I'm going to leave that tab open. i got to bookmark that. That guy later. Yeah, amazing. Amazing work. Got one more of these to do. You don't stream, do you, Brad? That's the wrong size. I can use it, though. So Drif and Echi, like what's um what's your next what's next on the the list of kits? I know you guys are sort of in a bit of a holding pattern right now, but what's on the bucket list? What's the next one on the bucket list? Do I have all of these? There's one missing. Oh there it is. Okay, so we got that, that, that. Lancia Delta S4, 124 scale with full interior. One of the best, one of the biggest beast in rally cars. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, these are coming along, Tear Chair. They're coming along. This one's sort of, you know, finished without any of the, the filters or, um, um, and it's, it's glossy as shit. Goth, goth Hello Kitty kits. Nice. 
set of 1144 Martian war machines. Awesome. Awesome. Are the are the goth Hello Kitty kits? Are they like Ban Bandai, or are they like that that kind of thing? The Doge car would be awesome too. You're right. Maybe the armored nuts after those, yeah. Just in case there's any mis misunderstanding, the armored nuts are literally armored nuts. They have nothing to do with reproductive organs. Well, I suppose they kind of are reproductive organs, but for, for nut plants. But yeah, these are the armored nuts. This is a walnut. I'm uh, gradually gonna build these just on my my off time, and I'll save the uh, I'll save the peanut for stream, a short stream, because I can do these pretty quickly. This is gonna get weathered a little bit. These little chips are gonna get some rust streaks, and I'm hand painting the walnut, and I'll get some some more color and and whatnot in there. Then some filters, and. Um, I did candy, candy blue on the light, but uh, the armored nuts are so adorable. You're absolutely right. Really fun little build too. Only one sort of frustrating step with this, and very well made. Like they're so tightly. If you just want to do these as a straight up, yeah, I didn't know what to do because it's just the same. Like if you if you look at this one, this blue. I mean, this is paint, right? But I mixed, I like, I custom mixed this with just my my game color. I painted this with game color. If you want to know what, what ma masochism is, it's trying to airbrush with game color paints. Um, but uh, the it's, it's basically this color, and I thought, well, that's silly, because it looks like a headlight in the, uh, in the picture. Um, you know, it's supposed to be a light, so I thought, well, what do I do? I don't want to actually hand paint the, a headlight in there. Um, so I just thought, I'm going to just do it candy blue, and I'll do, I'll do this, this little guy here candy blue as well. When I get when I get around to that, but anyway, they're really fun. They're really fun. I, I really think they're they're fun. Did I mention that they're fun? Um, the uh, the um, I can't remember how I actually did this on the top of this one. I didn't do the greatest job. Oh, I remember now. Um, yeah. So, armored nuts. Yeah, it's a light. So if I recall correctly, I just started there on one side. I did this bit in like two steps. And I just went right over the center. down the back. And so the idea is to have the masking tape left, sorry, that's right, right of the uh, of the center line, right. So this this edge, the side edge here, is the center, and the tape's on this side of it. And then I'll do the same ninety degrees in. don't have enough silicone. I am so, so sorry about that, TJ. Can we get, can we get an F in chat for the silicone blues? Because I know that pain. 
I know that pain. I too have run out of products when I'm about to uh, start a huge, start a big project. It's brutal. Uh, yeah, she's way closer. Way closer than I am. Damn it. Didn't mean for that to come off. Are your, in Australia, are, you, are your stores closed? Like your stores like that just closed over the entire weekend? Because here in, here in Kanukistan, usually things are open for a few days at least. You know what I want? And uh, chat, if you ever see them, if you ever see them, uh, but like really high quality ones, um, I want some some scissor, tweezer scissors, you know? Have you ever seen those? Like spring, they're like sprung, like a like a tweezers, but they, they actually have blades on the end that cut. I need to get a pair of those, and I can't find one. Papa Dookie, yes, that's that's what I want. Is uh, I want some medical grade embroidery scissors. Okay, okay, making a note here. Papa, how are you? Welcome. Just making some notes here. I have a little note thing, note tape over here. Embroidery. I spelled that entirely wrong. Embroidery. Scissors. See, I know nothing. I know nothing of the... Uh, I know nothing of cloth. <laughs> Alright, so that's one. Ugh. I knew this, this part would be tedious. Sorry about that. Depends on the holiday for us Aussies. Some of them open, some others they don't. Um, TJ, I don't know how flush you are. I don't know how how much disposable income you have, but uh, the um, the thing that you're going to find with silicone, well, I, I don't know if it's entirely the same. <laughs> Dear Amazon. Please send me 1,000 email suggestions for scissors. Nailed it. That's brilliant. Thank you. Thank you for gaming the algorithm. Not a foul. Thanks and yourself. <laughs> um, I suppose I should try to do this. I hope I'm doing this right. Okay, so that one, where's the one I just did? There. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to do 3 in one direction and 3 in the other so that there's some symmetry between the two sides. So this one will continue that way. Um TJ, what I will say is um silicone and resin get a lot cheaper when you buy them in very large amounts or just larger amounts. At least that's how it is with smooth on. 
the stuff that I get. And so for the the resin, I buy the smallest I buy the smallest bottles, but that stuff's pretty much always in stock where I go, and um, so I I don't uh, I don't um, I just go and get more when I need it because I don't really cast very much. Um, but the silicone, I usually buy the big drums of it instead of the uh, the little ones because it's it's just more much more cost effective. So you may want to look into that if you're doing finding yourself doing a lot of casting. Don't don't keep buying the little the little expen more expensive by by volume uh, uh, bottles or kits. Get um, get yourself one of the large ones. Bunning cell casting resin here. It's very expensive. So it's really, and what's what's Bunnings for, Dads? Is that like a like a, a home store? Yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you. But I, what I mean is, and and that makes that makes total. It's basically your your uh, your Home Depot. Okay, great. Thank you, Papa. Um, Sorry, off camera there. That's about right. Quite often I see large resin amount for sale. People buy too much. Time I got twelve thirty. Okay. These are tricky. I kind of regret doing doing this pattern on the top of these. It'll look good when it's done though. Curved surfaces, man. I'm probably off camera a bit here. Let's zoom out. to the same other side. Uh, 
Drift, are you going to paint the armored nuts? Convex is better than concave, you're right. You're absolutely right. Especially when your tape doesn't want to stick. Eh. Okay. I'm not going to... I'm just going to do... Uh, I think I'll just do two of these. And then paint, come back, do the rest after. What do I need here? This one. Let's try doing it this way. They're going to be here weathering practice. That's a good idea. So have you not uh, have you not weathered much, Drift? You sort of come across as having weathered. Because um, I know you've you've done. I thought you'd done scale armor and stuff. Kits like that. If that was easier. Okay, let's do them that way. Weathering practice. You know, that wasn't too painful now that I know how to do it that way. So let's just keep going. Um, we've got one. Okay, so those are, those are the same. But this one is different. Because you see, when I have all these oriented the same way, the paint is on this side of this one, but it's on the other side of this, these two. So we'll do one more like that, and these two we'll do it this way. Years ago? Yeah, okay. So are you just getting kind of back into it from a bit of a hiatus? Which is totally cool. I am very much like that to a degree. What I will say is it does come back pretty quick. Yeah. Cool. So that one that that one forty four, War of the Worlds kit, where was that? I'd like to see that. So so TJ, so the pink sill. So, 309 divided by 5,000. Five hundred, so... Yeah, that's pretty close. That's pretty close, actually. 
So the 500, the, sorry, the 5 kg is about 6 cents a milliliter, whereas the, um, the 500 milliliter is 8 cents. So that's actually not a bad, that's not bad. So never mind what I said. With Smooth On, it's, it's vastly more expensive to buy many of the small ones as opposed to just buying like the, the five kilogram tub. I want to use the war machines. Right, let's have a look here. Oh my God. I remember this movie. This is one of those movies as a child that I have such fond memories of seeing people being erased by spark sparky beams. So cool. See, <laughs> those formative years, and those formative years, instead of TikTok and YouTube videos and anime, I was watching, I was watching screaming people getting turned into ash spots by sparkler rays. So cool. This is a nice, like, simple kit. This is a great thing to start on. Ooh, I like the gold. I like the gold. It's a little weird how they didn't incorporate the circle into the rest of the diorama, but that's just me. And holy shit, that's only 17 bucks. Wow. Um, and then there's another one here. The Tom Cruise movie was total garbage. Um, Oh yeah, that's awesome. How will you do the light and sound? Will you just use like an Arduino? Or do you have special skills? Because I know you, you've, done, you've done work like that, right? Like you rebuilt that uh, pinball machine. You got a model of the Spielberg War Machine? Awesome, that's awesome. You know what I want? And I don't know if Etchy Bat's distracted with something, but she needs to listen to this. We need to find somebody who can do for us a, um, like a full, like a, a big, like a 30 centimeter tall, I don't know what the scale would be, but um, a 30 centimeter tall Reaper from Mass Effect. At your bat, make it happen. You know people. Like, wouldn't that be fucking awesome? I am actually very tempted to, to take that on. I have a... Um, I have... I have... The game model. I have the game model. But what it would mean? Oh, hey, tear, 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 tear. Take care, take care. Thank you, as always, for joining us. Have yourself a wonderful Sunday. Are you working? Are you working this weekend? If so, sorry. I'll be here same place, same time tomorrow night. Maybe we'll see you. Maybe we won't. Well, we definitely won't see you. Something will have gone terribly wrong if we can actually see you. But 
but we'll definitely see in chat. Um, there is an STL out there somewhere. Yeah, I'll have to look for that, dads. I've only found the one that I have, which is, oh, here we go. Drift coming through, coming through. Yeah. Yeah, you see, that's what I want. But, but you see, it's not in stock. And it's by Dark Horse, so it's going to be pre-painted and it, it's going to look poopy. But um, I, the STL, I, I mean, and maybe maybe you have a different one, uh, Krabby Hands. Um, no, Echi Bat, don't, don't. We can get, we can do better than that. We can do better than that. That's okay, but I think we can do better. Anyway, just thinking aloud. Yeah, TJ, that is the, um, there's a, there's a video game called Mass Effect, um, from Bioware. Uh, the same people that did, uh, oh, uh, what was the other one? Dragon Age Origin? Was that it? Um, but, uh, that's sort of the main, I don't know what you'd call it, it's kind of like the antagonist, but you don't really fight them. Anyway. They they're basically gigantic things that destroy, that destroy cities. Yeah, they did do Dragon Age because I remember spending a whole bunch of money on getting that, and only to have it not work on my PC. Uh, in recent years, like in the last couple of years, because it's on the Steam store, but it's it's kind of broken for modern computers. Like it's buggy. But um. My printers are big enough to do it, would just need to cast it. My printers are big enough to do it, would just need to cast it. Yeah, I could probably fit it on my my uh, PO Poly, but not the Anycubic. Um, no, I mean, I have the game STL, but I would need to get it into ZBrush and do hours and hours and hours of work um, in, in making it, well, I mean, in giving it volume, basically, because game models don't really take into consideration any kind of volume um, so there you know you'll often just see you know uh, single you know single single sided um, single sided uh, polys that have only a single normal on them there's nothing there's nothing to the other side of them because there was never an intention that you would see that side of them uh, because the the rendering engine uh, takes makes that a moot point but um, a lot of work but anyway thinking aloud but yeah the reapers I've been playing I kind of started that thought I've been playing uh, never finished it I've been playing the first one and I realized I had spent like a good six hours just do, doing nothing other than wandering around and completing missions on the uh, on the Citadel. <laughs> it's like, I just I was there for so long. I just was started finishing those missions and just kept going. And I thought at one point it was actually after your stream where you said where you talked about it. Maybe your Tuesday one said, "Oh, that sound." That music that plays when you first get onto the uh, get onto the Normandy, and I'm like, "Oh shit, the Normandy! Fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, yeah, and then I immediately spent three days scanning planets. <laughs> you got it, you got it, uh, Papa. Absolutely. I was just like, yeah, and there's that mission where you got to find all of the, um, oh, what are they called? The Sentinels? Is it the Sentinels? Can't remember. Um, and there's like one. There's one I can't find.
feel like that's over a little bit. Bat, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. You're so generous. Gifting Papa Dookie one month sub. Thank you. Awesome. You awesome person, you. Try being that guy who plays through the three of them with each type of character. Hey, Papa Dookie. You weren't even following. Thanks for the follow, my friend. Um, the, uh, I gotta fix those. I gotta come up with some better, some better alerts. Um, although that gif, that, that gif is fabulous. I have no idea where it came from. I have no idea why I have it. It just appeared one day in my life and it's, it's stuck there. Um, who plays through the three of them with each type of character rolling the save into each new game. <laughs> that is a dedicated gamer right there. Did you do that, Echibat? Sure did. I, I have to apologize. I am not that dedicated. It's all right if you think less of me. I will accept that. Where are we at here? We want there to there. Shame. Ding. Shame. Ding. Shame. Ding. Right. <laughs> yep. 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 I want all of the Reaper ships. Four dads. Do you need me to be more specific? <laughs> Actually, I should show you guys one of the first really big 3D prints that I did. Like, not, not, uh, like before DLP, before SLA was a thing. You found two so far? Yeah, and, and four dads, I haven't really looked in a very long time. It just kind of popped into my head because that game has come back and I'm playing it. And I thought way back when, I thought, I want that model. Wow, can't get away from of late four dads, yeah. You know, I say that not thinking or n not meaning that I wouldn't like to have played all those characters, but more that, sadly, I lead a somewhat busy life. 
with responsibilities that eat away into my time. There's a reason I don't come home and start streaming and stay with you straight through the evening. There's a reason I show up here at 11 p.m. I'd like to start earlier, but it's just not possible, unfortunately. All right, so we got those three done. Can't get away. Or are you, are you chatting with them in other streams? Oh yeah, okay, okay. These aren't bad. These aren't bad. Mm. Yeah, so this one's no good. Cuz right, there's there's no poly count, right? Poly counts garbage. So we can't make that big, you know? Can't make this big without a lot of work. You know, because, yeah, because the problem is these aren't, they, they aren't all separate objects, right? When, when you get a continu contiguous STL file like this, they aren't all separate objects. So even if, like, what it, you know, if you had this as a ZBrush file or, or you know, in Blender, if you, if you know Blender, um, each of these elements would be a separate object in it that you could isolate out from the rest of them. And then what you could do is I could remesh those and, or you could sculpt them, but because it's it's in as a single object with with sharp cuts and and uh, um, or sharp edges and and uh, smooth areas you can't really you can't really remesh this um, successfully and bring back this kind of detail so if you wanted to do this as a um, you know like a big a big guy then uh, that's not that one's not going to work so what's some of the other ones we've got that one That one is worse, and yeah, this one doesn't look that great either. And uh, your 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 um yeah, because I mean, look at that. That first one was the best, but yeah. This may be the game model from the first, the first game. I think the 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 game model from the third one, um, the third one is actually a lot higher poly than this. I mean, if you remember the Reapers, they're these gigantic things that you know tower way off into the sky. There's no reason for them to be uh, to be um, a, a really high poly, a really high poly mesh, but. You know, actually, as I think of it, to be really honest with you, if I was going to start, if I was going to make a really high detail, high poly um, version uh, for myself, I would probably start with this one, to be honest with you, because these flat, low poly areas would be easy to start with, and you could build up, you could build up on top of those. Anyway. I speak out loud. Sovereign is Mass Effect 1. Yeah, I can't remember the storyline that well. 
Was that one sovereign? Ah, I can't remember. The last one I looked at was Sovereign. Okay. Yeah, it's a weird little thing about um, about sculpt, like trying to add detail to STLs. Is you're almost better off, you know, kind of starting starting over with just a really really base, um, like a base. Uh, well, they're they're actually called base meshes. All right, so now with these ones, we want to flip the direction. We might as well do them all. We only have two more to do. So we'll get the top there. We want to be on this side. Yeah, I'm slowly... Uh, I devote a little bit of time to ZBrush every, uh, every day. I try to, at least. Um... It's what I it's what I went to school to learn many years ago before my life took drastically wild turns in other directions but um, I'm just trying to get get my skills back up on that so that I can use it effectively in this hobby and um, might be interesting to try something like that one day Maybe even do a ZBrush stream. Don't know. Yeah, you'd find that interesting. Um Wait, what are you yang to, Drif? The worst thing about hot glue, that. The cobwebs. And when you glue your finger to the cork. You use your glass of whiskey to cool the burn. Or TJ, when you accidentally set something on fire and you use your glass of whiskey to put it out, but you realize that it's actually cask strength and it just makes the fire worst. You just realize the LED placement on the Titanic, it prevents a huge need for interior detail. Oh, that's handy. I think I need to find a better place than kitchen counter for model. Yeah. Anything to share, Papa? Any picks? scissors
I know that's a typo, but uh, that was a good one. <laughs> Absolutely. Totally fine. Drink run dry. Oh, I thought you were saying be right back. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Very nice. The mine roller. Very cool. What else have you got here? I'm now I'm now gonna snoop. Oh, right, I forgot about that. Hang on. Anime mode. Not anime, hentai, hentai mode. Hentai mode engaged. There we go. Well, first of all, yes, please. Okay. <laughs> that is spectacular. That's spectacular. I may have just missed the little arrow. Sorry. Uh, yeah, there is one. Oh, yeah. Pixelated, they look better. Here. There you go. <laughs> I can still see them, though. Really nice. Really good work. Really nice. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. Well, you have my follow, that's for sure. Thank you for sharing that. Oh, and what did Four Dads post here? Let's have a look at that. Echibat, thank you for the two gift subs. Thank you so much. Have yourself a great sleep. And a wonderful Saturday. Take care. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'll say, I'll say it because I say it for everybody. I'll be here tomorrow, same time, same place. Doing the same thing. <laughs> but maybe I'll have two big legs and a pelvis. Take care. <laughs>
Have a great Saturday. Yeah, it's really coming along for it. That's very impressive. Very impressive. Hey, Brad, you're still here. Did you see those motorcycles? Red right on. I should try building a motorcycle. <laughs> Maybe I will. When I when I uh, first started doing scale models, I did a lot of armor, and um, it was when I was a very young man. I thought I got pretty good at it, but I was by no means an adult at the time. You know, men, we're not really adults until we're, what, 28? <laughs> um, but uh, I um, I left them at my house with my parents when I moved out west, and uh, I think they got rid of them. Uh, if they do have them, they don't know where they are. Well, if my dad has them, he doesn't know where they are. Unpredictable artist has entered chat, and this is her badass introduction. That weird lurk announce only really happens to you at this point, Unpredictable. Sorry to out you. I don't think I should cut and weld metal whilst fatigued. It's almost guaranteed to go wrong. And I don't have a lot to spare. The bot hath botted the cat mama. Did I do that wrong? I did that wrong. It's supposed to be on this side. Did I still put it on the wrong side? I still put it on the fucking wrong side. God damn it. All right. This tape is cursed. You go there. All right. Third time's a charm. We want it on this side of the line. that. So this deck I just painted must be fairly visible because the gray areas are what contain the 120-ish windows on the superstructure.
Okay, so we got that one done. Then we need one more piece here. Uh, TJ, I know that the Mold Max that I use does, definitely. Ford Ads, have you ever done that? Cut up old molds as filler? I mean, I'm, if those molds are just junk that you, uh... That you know you're not going to need, why not try? Yeah. Like I know with Mold Max from Smooth On, if um, I briefly described the technique of doing a, um, a two part mold when we were talking molds, where you create a bed of silicone. Uh, I actually have one. Not silicone, sorry. So, like, this is the kind of thing, TJ, that I make for a two-part mold, um, where it's a box that's just made out of foam core that's all just been hot glued together. And then you take uh, a special type of plasticine. And you put your part into that plasticine, right? Like, halfway into it. You know, you'd... You take your part and kind of just shove it in there as best you can, right? And then you use some sculpting tools and you bring the silicone up around the sides so it's basically half submerged. Not the silicone, the plasticine kind of half up the sides until it's, it's sort of half of it's buried in plasticine, right? And then you'd put, you'd get something like, you could use a pencil right and you'd shove make some mark some holes in it like that you know right and those would be your keys right for the two-part mold to make sure the two parts lock together well um, and then you would pour your silicone in here and you'd let it set okay and then once it was completely set you flip it over and you rip this part off just this part. You keep the box intact and tear this piece off and you'll see the bottom of the plasticine and you just slowly with your thumb, you know, you kind of worry up the, the side of the plasticine. The plasticine won't really stick to the silicone at all and um, you'll be able to pull, carefully pull the whole piece of plasticine out and the part, this part here, my alligator clip, will stay embedded in the silicone, right? So you pull that up, pull it out, right? And uh, you're left with just your pink, pink sill or whatever, it, whatever it's called, uh, with the other side, the buried side of this sticking up. So then, it's time to make the second part of the mold. Now, at that point, with Mold Max, if I don't spray the box 
the this the surface of the silicone in there and the the part itself you know just spray it in there if i don't spray a release a mold release in there and i use um m-a-n-n 200 man 200 if you don't spray that in there and you just if you forget and you pour your silicone in you have a completely integral block of of silicone that you cannot split apart it just becomes one which is why i'm thinking yeah you probably if it's anything like mold max you could definitely just combine them all into one larger piece of silicone um but by putting that but by putting that mold in there sorry the mold release in there um after this side is set you can break the whole box apart find roughly where the the two pieces met usually there's a little bit of a line that you can see and you can start kind of peeling them apart with your finger and they'll they'll come apart and you'll have two parts of the mold and you can pull the part out and then you can make new alligator clips that don't actually work because they're now made out of resin Now, I will warn you, TJ, if you find yourself thinking, I'm going to do that, if you find yourself like, making a two-part mold that I just showed you, you have to buy a special kind of plasticine and get it from the people that you buy the molding materials with because the silicone, or uh, plasticine, I keep saying silicone, damn it. I mean to say plasticine. Um, you can't use plasticine that has any um, sulfur in it. And regular, like, uh, play Play-Doh kind of plasticine, it does have sulfur in it. And that, that will prevent the silicone from setting. So you have to get special molding plasticine. It's not very expensive, though. But I don't know, worth a try. Worth a try. Doing that, yeah. That mold box was from an old project I never finished. Yeah, two parts. You often don't need them. Like, you can often really get away with just doing something like this, right? Where you, you just split it down the middle. Right? If you remember this, the shittiest fleshlight there is. Um, and then I, I, I do kind of a swirly cut as opposed to a straight one so you don't get any, you, you're, you're less, less likely to get mold slip, you know? I was about to say it looks a bit slim. Some people are okay with that though, Papa. It did not look it did not look advantageous to me, but some people some people were okay with that. <laughs> no shame, no shame, that's right. That's right. This is a non-judgmental. This is a non-judgmental. What might not be okay for you might be totally fine for others. Drift that um, that uh, hummingbird uh, colalab colibri colibri that I I had on um, Discord. Did you did you go and look at any of the other ones that he he makes? Did you look at that artist? Because he sells a number of plans, and I was just thinking afterwards. Is that the right one? Am I working on that one or this one? Yeah, it's this one. Um, I was thinking after, 
Yeah, because you have um, you have a laser uh, laser cutter, right? So. I was thinking you could probably make some of those. Now you said you have a smaller laser cutter. I don't know if you like what's the thickest plywood you can cut. Yeah, BMO. I don't know anything about that one. I've only ever seen and used the big, scary Chinese ones at our makerspace. Um, what a lovely photo. What a lovely photo for dads. Conveys everything that's cool about uh, about steam. Very nice. It's only a roughly an 11 by 12 work area. That would probably work. I mean, I can't remember with the, the hummingbird. I don't think any of the pieces... That, lo that was a real train. Wasn't it? That's got to be a real train. Otherwise, you're, you, you should be you should be doing the uh, you shouldn't be making the Titanic. You should be streaming how to do terrain. <laughs> hey, right, Aid, how are you? I haven't. I have not seen that, right, Aid. Go on. Oh, I didn't notice. I didn't notice those, Papa. You got a link, right, Ed? Are you talking about me? Because some people call that kit that I was showing earlier the it, it's got a it's a heavy arms, but you, I think you're talking about something else. All right, make a little space here. Can you imagine? Can you imagine, Drift, if just a whole bunch of people start buying these old kits? These giant kits and just start streaming them all? Quit my job. It would be, inst for me, it would be instantly, it would turn into the, turn into the uh, Battlestar Galactica sketch from Portlandia. Spend all day at home. Shoulders bugging me. All right. Let's paint. Let's start with this. Get some hairspray on it.
There's his Insta. awesome. That's posable. Oh my god. Wow. Stunning. He cards them in print. Okay, so these aren't kits. These are things that he's making. He's like, um, he's like Michael. Yeah, Michael Fechtenmeyer, Fitch and Foo. Sweet. Is there more? See, this is the kind of stuff that I want to do in ZBrush, right? This is exactly the kind of stuff I want to be able to do in ZBrush. But I gotta I gotta get better at the hard surface. Like my hard surface game is is kind of shit. I don't like that effect. Um Dude has a big printer. I know, right, Jeff? That's like the f that's like the um, the phenom, I think. The Pio Poly uh, phenom is like that big. I think there are other ones that are that big now, but that's the first one. Yeah, phenom, right here. No, Frozen Transform. Oh, okay. Stunning. Thanks for sharing that, Rite Aid. That's awesome. I'm going to deep dive into that later. I'll deep, well, Drift deep dives into it right now, I bet. All right. There's a couple sprays of... Hairspray. So does he sell? Him ripping the pieces off the supports fresh from the print made me <laughs> made you twitch. So right, does he does he sell them or he does? Very cool. So what what kind of pricing? Like what kind of price would something like that be? What's he charging for something like that? Loot box plus. If you don't mind me asking, I don't know if he, he publishes that information. Pre orders start in June. Oh, this is really cool. One thirty fifth scale Sazavi. And so refresh my memory as far as what the realm of a Reaver Titan is.
like a couple thousand. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Yeah, that's 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 reasonable. Right, Aid, were you were you around when I when I showed any of the one thirty fifth scale um, soft vinyl uh, LED Mirage? Well, that's what I was thinking, Drift. Like, like if I if I did a project like this, I wouldn't sell, I wouldn't sell prints, you know. Like, I would be casting that, save a ton of money. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't seem uh doesn't seem like it makes a lot of sense. Um You know, depending on how many he's doing as well. Oh my god, can you imagine the time? Imagine you get pre-orders and you get 50. <laughs> Which is entirely possible with uh how this stuff is making a comeback. No, he said it's like a two-month lead on him. So, well, here I can show that again quickly. So this isn't resin. This is a, a soft vinyl five-star series kit that um, that I'm fi I'm filling the. Uh, it's made from the same basic, the same. Uh, uh, what am I trying to say? The same master that. Um, the resin version was made from but these are sort of the, these kits are a rare and esoteric throwback to the 80s when the industry hadn't really decided whether soft vinyl or or resin was the way to go and so there are a few of these out there but they're they're weird and difficult to build so they didn't really get a lot of popularity um Yeah, the, the white does almost look like casters. So what I do is I'm filling them with a, um, it's a product called, uh, eyes the can because I can never remember the name, Dunford, uh, Dunford Rock Hard Water Epoxy. And um, so that piece goes there, that piece goes there. Let's put these on first actually. No, those are the same. Missing a piece. That goes there. It goes there. This piece is kind of propped up like this. It'll get pinned. This goes here. That's actually not the right one. This one's been cut. Uh, once they're filled, it's about the same, and it would it'll pin together the same. But that's about thirty centimeters, just to the the top of the thigh, not even the waist. So that's what you're getting into with one thirty five scale. Like it's the the soft vinyls. It's not as good as resin. It's it's not. A, there's a reason they don't. 
they don't really exist at this level anymore. There's still, I think, like, um, action figure type, uh, like, there's a whole sort of group of, uh, a group of the hobby. I can't, there's probably a name for it, Drift, that you might know, but, like, the, um, you know, Marvel superhero and, uh, and uh, DC superhero, those sorts of re uh, busts um, done with a hollow soft vinyl that are filled and painted the same way that, uh, the same way that, um, you, you see these days uh, from like uh, what's the what's the big company that does all those is it sideshow models I can't remember that kind of stuff but anyway there's like pretty decent detail you know there's I don't know if you can see those but there are the, these little markings all over it and um, yeah it's not bad um, but there is a there is a resin kit of this Th this exact same master and it's it looks the same it's not like the resin kit has more detail in it but uh yeah it's pretty wild eh yeah i don't know if you can see those it's hard with the white it's all like lettering so that'll all be panel lined um yeah and so you just fill fill the pieces with this water water putty and it makes them hard gives them some weight so it doesn't get all tippy so if you're getting one of those start figuring out where you're going to put it <laughs> um, and Drift you asked how are they made so is the soft vinyl more of a special edition compared to the resin kits, Darth? Hey, Darth, welcome. Um, no, I wouldn't say that. I mean, that that is literally from... That's like a 37-year-old kit. I don't know how old some of you guys are in chat, but that that's it is, it is literally 37 years old. Um, and uh, it was a time when they they weren't like the industry was making a lot of toys in in that method um like action figures and and uh that kind of content that kind of product and so i think when people started when when nagano started um started making you know five star five star stories um a lot of these companies well toy press included said well we want to make you know we want to actually have some products that people can buy because this is a this kit is a toy press kit um like it's it's licensed by toy press um i am young it's exactly right that's what i figured i mean i'm 46 and i know drift is i think around the same age but um yes yeah yeah i i, I think it's just it, it it predates resin casts sure right um and uh I would say so, four dads. Yeah, I would approve of that. But um, I think it was just a technique that was available where they take the mold, like they, they take the mold um, uh, drift and they, don't they like blow inject the vinyl into it and it sticks to the side and then they just, they, they just, it sets really quickly and then it's done. I think that's like, that's my understanding. It's like, blow injecting or there's a name like that for it i need to look into the the material science of it a bit more but um you know you, you have to con you have to remember like they they made them like pretty much exactly the same as what you see like actually do i have the manual or did i put it away oh here yeah like you think of these parts um in it Oh, so you're just barely, you're just barely younger than it. <laughs> Jack. Um, so. You know, this, um, this, I meant to take a copy of this. I forgot it at home. I apologize. I was going to give you all a, a copy of it, um, on Discord, but, um, this is the resin assembly. So if you had found a copy of this, hey, Ninja Doodle, how are you doing? 
um, if you had found a copy of, or, or a version of this in, in resin, you would be able to build it as a resin. And these are all the resin instructions. But they, um, they really don't distinguish. Like you see here, this is one piece, I believe, in the resin version. But then they just give you this insert for the the uh, the soft vinyl kit, which I mean, it's they're all the same pieces. They're all exactly the same pieces. You know what I mean? And have the uh, have the cutouts, right? The this this cross hatched area um, is simply to be cut out with a uh, a knife. But um, anyway, just sort of fascinating. It's fascinating. And there's a lot of there's a lot of hate about them when you get into them. They're just they're that they're like they're difficult, they're difficult, uh, they're difficult and frustrating kits. But I'm actually you know from the little pieces that I've done, I don't think it's going to be frustrating at all. Personally, I think it's going to be fun. And this manual is something else. I need to get it translated. Anyone out there know uh, Japanese? How you how you doing, Ninju? Let me just catch up here. Hey, hey. Oh, I know, Jack. You are young. You are. Shopping for World War II miniatures to paint. Some Germans, Japanese, maybe some Polish, since I'm Polish and German. Dragon, if you're doing 135. Dragon, if you're doing 135, Ninju. I'm a cheap bastard, so I was going to get 15 millimeter World War II mil minis. Alternate between World War II and Gunpla. That's cool. One 120. <laughs> That's, that is challenging. Just had your birthday. Congrats. Just turned 29. Congratulations. Almost 30. You're almost an old man. Now dealing with my best friend, nine years, death anniversary. It's been a roller coaster. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Condolences. That's rough. Gonna get some Grey Goose vodka tomorrow, I think. Nice. Switch light for a birthday present. Sweet. Some mini paints. What kind of paints? Yeah, I was about to ask the same, Drift. Are you gonna do some tabletop gaming, or are you just practicing? Learn the trade. Both. What game? Some cheap war games. Yeah, cheap war games. That's fun. Paint, fun hobby. Yeah, for sure. Let's do this. 50 millimeter. Want to play bolt action with 15 millimeter flames of war skill? That's cool. What's that other game, Drift? I'm getting tired here and I'm I'm uh, I'm spacey a bit on it. But the um, oh shit, the kit bad. The one with the cars. Gaslands. Gaslands? Is that the one? 
That looks like a fun, that'd be a fun tabletop too. Gaslands, right on, yeah. That'd be a fun one. I'd, I'd definitely, if I lived in a, if I was in a situation where I had roommates who played games with me, I would, uh, <laughs> I would try that. Yeah, the car mini games with Gaslands, right on. Has anyone ever played that in chat? We should. We should. I agree. We should start uh, having, like, Discord challenges. You know, Drift? Like, people who are on the Discord have, like, a monthly challenge. You know, like, a lot of streamers will have, like, a challenge. You know, Miami does his and, and you know, build-offs and stuff like that. We should do a Gaslands one. But uh, include, uh, you know, have it, have it across multiple streams. Streamers, you know. I don't know. I'm thinking aloud. Might be a shit idea. I don't know. <laughs> kit Bash Challenge, where we all use the same kit or two as the base. I'd be into that as well. I'd be into that as well. That might be a rabbit hole for me, though. You would need to create some rules that would stop me from, like, like, starting from the ground up. <laughs> you know, like, a lot of those rules will say, you know, no resin. No casting. Or, like, a certain amount of, uh, Okay, only make... Okay, can only use parts from the kits. Can't make what the kit is. And then could you have like a certain percentage, an arbitrary percentage of like scratch build? You know, like if I want to connect two parts together, but I can only do that with, uh, you know, by, by, you know, using some styrene. Maybe. Maybe. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. You guys are going to win. <laughs> I think keep it cheap and available. I'll just make a simple HG. Okay, hang on. So, Rite Aid drops it. Rite Aid... Right Aid comes into the channel, flexing with a 135 custom that costs like, you know, Reaver Titan prices. And then when we suggest a challenge, he's all like, well, maybe just, maybe just an HG. <laughs> Too funny. I'm just, I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing with you. It's, you know what he's doing, right? He's like, well, shit, no, I can't do that because all of my money is going into the, the, the 135 heavy arms. <laughs> I only have budget for one more HG. Why would I be disqualified? I would be disqualified as a matter of principle. I don't. I don't build HGs. They're too small. <laughs> so actually, I'm the one who said HG. I mean, maybe Drift. Are you thinking perfect grades? He's <laughs> scratch building, kit bash everything. Well, I don't do everything, but. Well, that's why I was asking all those questions for it ads at the beginning. Wait, wait, wait. Drift, hang on. What are the rules? How much can I... How much How much styrene can I use? No, I would be totally game for that. I would be totally game for that, Drift, if you, uh, if you want to come up with the set. A certain tractor kit and a plane. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's actually not bad because then you could be like, you could, you could, 
And so, yeah, that, I can see that. I can see that. Then you try to build mecha with it or starship or something from those parts. Mmm. That would be good, but, like, I would want, like, 10%, 10% scratch build allowed. Or is that, or is that too much? Is that too, uh, is that too, is that kind of a dick move? Because it, you know, I'm already set up for, for doing all that. The scratch building stuff. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to put anyone out where th they're thinking, like, they need to get a whole bunch of extra, they need to be get a whole bunch of extra stuff. Yeah, Ninju, I know you build, um, you build, like, the 3A, uh, the 3A toy style robots out of collected, out of found items to begin with. Some of the kits don't make it out here. Well, I think what Drift would probably do for dads is maybe pick some, some that are just universally everywhere, you know, like there's got to be some, especially when you get into like the, uh, you know, the, the world where like, you know, non-sci-fi stuff, it's probably... Limited to scaffolding. I think scratch building would be limited to scaffolding or something. Okay, let me ask you this. Can I take stuff that I don't use from the original kit and can I melt it down and reuse it and shape it into other things? <laughs> All right. Game on then. Set it up. Start, start, do whatever you need to do. Do, do your thing. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't even know if you're able to do those sorts of things. But, uh, yeah, that would be a lot of fun. I'd be definitely into that. Stretching sprues. Yeah. I maybe had something a little more complicated in mind. But, uh, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Also, what was happening in your life? Hang on a sec here. I feel like I've missed a lot of what Ninju's saying because he's he's typing very quickly. Um, I found some Japanese R three X muscle cars. Logged into. If we did that, it would all be you could finish something this month. I will definitely be finishing the Schnabel gun this month. Um. There are army men wargaming rules. Da, da, da. What was happening in your life at 29? Since you're an ancient alien now. Well, 29, I, I got married when I was... Uh, I got engaged at 20, 20, uh, 25. Married at 26. Um, by 29, happily married, owned a house, doing the work thing. Uh, in my life, my main hobbies at that point were um i wasn't really doing any scale modeling but i was uh very much into expensive hi-fi and i was designing and building uh vacuum tube uh amplifiers and pre-amplifiers for the hi-fi industry <laughs> um i did that for a few years uh but yeah lots of stuff like that kind of thing it was good it was a good time in my life You can tell me when I move to the phone because my typing goes to shit. You can tell when I move to the phone because my typing goes to shit. Melt down the entire thing and mold something new. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm teasing, I'm teasing. But I, I, like in all honesty, I would totally be happy to, to take on a challenge like that. I never kit bashed and starting to paint. But I think it would be fun to see what everybody comes up with. I did. I got married Ninja Doodle. That did not end well. I am still very much happily married. My pour went wonky. The rubber started to set in three minutes. Odd. Huh. Must admit, then considering tracking down, yeah. I would just leave it for a while, walk away from it. 
Well, Fordads, you just you you earlier on you said it would be okay with that with that. You implied that it would be okay to for him to use cured. Because it certainly would be with like the mold max. That's what I was getting at. Um, another thing I learned. So is that how is that different than what I was saying to four dads? So it, with that with that silicone, you cannot combine it with with cured. Just a misunderstanding all around there. I apologize, TJ, if I somehow convinced you that that was an okay thing to do, but it wasn't as far as four dads was trying to say. I've never used that silicone. Oh, okay, so just leave it then, is what you're saying. It'll it'll just go quickly, but it'll be fine. <clears throat> I still feel very lost, very unfulfilled, and empty, and I'm almost 30. Dude. Sorry, man. At least you've got Twitch. Huh? <laughs> Here, ninja, ninju. <laughs> May, I'll I'll say this. Maybe it'll make you feel better. <clears throat> Pangalactic dragon dildo. Was it pangalactic? I can't remember now. Pansexual Dragon Dildo. Feels like grungy, aimless 90s for me right now. Drift. It's okay, I'm 46 and still figuring shit out. And by shit, he means rules for the build-off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got to use new clean cups every time. Thanks for the dildo. Anytime, buddy. Well, hey. Life has a way of sorting things out. You'll turn it around, my friend. Maybe you just need to pick up and, and move, you know? I remember you were talking about uh, about heading out west. 15 millimeter World War II bases, I have no idea. The airbrush cabin. That's right. Absolutely. So good.
not too heavy with these. I don't want them too too heavy. <clears throat> All right, get some water. Looks pretty good. I need a paper towel. Be right back. It's variety that you're looking for, Ninju. As much as I love Gundam, it's very similar. They're all very similar to one another.
For you it was World War One planes. Yeah. Well, that's 120, 172. 20, 25, 28 is 172. I might be behind in chat, sorry guys. If I'm saying stuff that you are very all well aware of. Let's move on to a, whoops, let's just throw that across the table. All right, let's get one of these done. Mr. Hobby Gold. Let's do a few of these. What are you looking for the what are you using the gold for? We actually met in high school. Freedom inner frame that you want shiny yellow gold. Because the other ones that you could look into, Jack, are um, the Alclad line of paints. They make some exceptional metallics, but they're kind of they're kind of challenging to use. story about how you met our mother Corvus <laughs> Ninju I think Ninju's already into the uh, he's already he's already got that uh, that bottle of uh, Grey Goose
sorry. What I was trying to say, but was on the wrong mic, was uh, I don't know how a lot of people found me. I know that Drif and Echibat were browsing and uh, saw five star stories as a as a uh, heading, as a title, as a stream title, and said, uh, "Don't mind if I do." Four dads. I think I. I think I uh, was part of a raid that may have gone over to four dads. Could have been unpredictable, actually. Who um, went there? And uh, I'm like, dude's building a Titanic. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> um. But uh, yeah, and I mean. I'm sure there's stories for the rest of us, but I don't I don't know them off the top of my head. Cause it's two thirty. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Alright, so then what I do here to get the other side of this is I just get rid of all this shit. How did you find me, Ninju? Yeah, something like that. Can't remember. Trying to screw you up. I was curious about how you met, how you and your wife met. What, what made you guys want to date? Hey, Chili Willy. Welcome. You found me through Adamesque or Neon? Yeah. That's what I was thinking too. Dude, I mean, my wife and I have been have known each other since we were in high school. We were good friends and dated on and off for a very, very, very long time. Um, we were not together for the entire time that we knew each other. Uh, but we were always friends and at some point after having dated each other for a, a while again in our in our uh, I think it was uh, probably our early 20s we said screw it let's just stay together and move out eventually popped the question history ever since let's look for model builder streams right on Yeah, so I mean, those are sort of the, that's the quick, the quick version. The one that I can, the one that I can say on stream. As to what made us click, I don't know, I think you just know that when you know it. That's, that's a very difficult thing to quantify. I know that that kind of stuff it's going to get a lot easier when the world reopens. <laughs> you know? Is Joe or Neon or Addy stream rated you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. It's funny. 
Everybody was probably like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Alright, guys. It's 2.30 here. I think that's probably going to be it for me tonight. Apologize to anyone who's just joined us. There's 15 of us in here. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we, well, what else we got going on here. Oh, look, tape. Raid from silver, right on. <laughs> TJ. Tape for the tape god. More resin for the resin throne. More sprues for the sprues lord. More paint for the paint king. Thank you, TJ, for that redeem. Thank you, TJ. Thank you, TJ. Thank you. It's a little tiny tape ball. A little tiny one on this guy. Hey, King Yuchi, how you doing, my friend? How you feeling? How you feeling after all that, uh, all that butter? <laughs> Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. That was a fun stream. Enjoyed that a lot. Feeling pretty good, actually. Might make it my standard, uh, standard, standard issue day. Yep, six croissants. That's all we need. <laughs> Feeling lubricated. I keep it clean, people. Keep it clean. Too funny. Too funny. King Yuchi did... Uh, wasn't a challenge. Wasn't a challenge. Wasn't a challenge. Because challenges are TOS. It was... Uh, it was just uh, a couple of enlightened folks joining together for the singular goal of watching a just chatting stream about the glory of high cholesterol, high carbohydrate, 
baked goods. That's all it was. And it was a time that I will always cherish. It's a time that I'll always cherish. <laughs> Unpredictable. How you doing? How you doing? Good to see you. Little tiny tape ball. No, I start a new tape ball. New tape ball with each build. Because then I can look like, I can look back on this one and say... I can look back on that. And say that that was the Gundam Double Zeta from Fortune Meow Studios. And then this one here is the... Uh, the Schnabel Gun. Oh, I'm sorry, unpredictable. I'm sorry. What time are you on? I will. I will check that out. <laughs> oh, dear. Here comes another one. You guys. This is a special edition of the Tape God song for anyone confused by it. I participated in the uh, Ren Fair, the virtual Ren Fair that was uh, hosted by uh, or organized by an unpredictable artist. And um, I made a special version of the Tape God Redeem. Just for you. More tape, more tape for the Tape God. And more resin for the Red Risen Throne. More screws, more screws for the screws, Lord. I'm not a bear. <laughs> there, there we go with the syrup wars. There was a time. Of great suffering. Called the syrup wars. Transcend time. Panel line. <laughs> Wait till he gets his dick in. Too good. Too good. Ninju, I don't know if you are aware of um, 
there you were t I just I was just sort of scrolling through the chat there as that was happening and um, you were mentioning World War II and Gundam are you aware of um, this are you aware of Machine and Krieger have you ever heard of that sometimes abbreviated as just Make That'd be a good movie trailer. Maybe that'll be a redeem one day. Movie trailer of fiction called The Great Syrup Wars. But listen, if you, Ninja, I don't know if you know about Machine and Krieger. Seriously. Because if you're if you're interested in a unison of World War II and m like Mecca, then Machine and Krieger is something you should look into. They're models that um, uh, are designed. The whole fiction, the whole sort of universe. You okay? Good, good. All right, you know what I'm talking about. I'll shut up then. Cool, cool, cool. All right, folks. I have to end this insanity. Not a whole lot of creators on. Um, if anyone has any suggestions, can't help but join in. Right on. Right on, King Yuchi. Right on. You only see them on 99JP? Yeah. Um, hey, you're very welcome, Darth. Um, but I'm open to suggestions. I'm open to suggestions as far as uh, if someone knows a creator out there that I don't that we could uh, we could raid. Throw a throw a link in chat. <laughs> Take shrapnel drowned you got nothing yeah it's pretty late it's pretty it's pretty slow this time of night but um uh check out ninju check out i know that like they don't have a lot of them but um wooden laser cut painting wooden laser cut painting let me have a quick look copy And how do you... I don't know how to pronounce that. He's making Shinanju. Oh, we... Okay, we'll, we'll go there. We'll go to Shinanju. Um, which one? Oh, but it's non-English. I don't want to send every. I don't want to send people to a non-English one, Ninju. Um, uh, well, you know what? Let's just do. Let's do the laser cut. Let's do the laser cut. That actually looks pretty neat. That actually looks pretty neat. He's just in my follow feed. Yeah, yeah. So he was. He was. Uh, he was Spanish. All right, everybody. Oh, blacksmith. Yeah. Well, the laser cut one looks actually pretty cool. It's the kit that they're putting together and they're painting it, so that might be a fun one. Um, but thank you, unpredictable. Um, thank you all for the uh, thank you all for the um, the redeems. Uh, thank you, Echibat, who is no longer here. Um, and. Uh, uh, thank you, Papa Dookie, for the follow. And uh, Zoundscapes, uh, actually that was yesterday, but thank you if you're still here. And Tink Live as well. I will be back tomorrow night. Same time, same place, doing the same thing. Peace, everybody. Have a wonderful Saturday.
Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Fordads. Thanks, Dinju. Thanks, Drif. I'll be uh, I'll be waiting the rules. I'll be awaiting the rules of the the challenge. The challenge. Get that going. That'll be fantastic. Take care, TJ. Take care, everybody. King Yuchi, have a good one. There's going to be a model model challenge. We expect you to participate as well. Expect you to participate as well. All right, everybody. Take care. I um. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and uh, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow, maybe. All right. Bye.